So, hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for yet another FIFA 19 cheat engine video here on career mode. Today's experiment is what if every single player on the game was injury prone. I can show you on the squad hub that we have made every single player with the trait injury prone for a start, I mean that's pretty self explanatory, but on top of that we've also given every single player one stamina, which in theory should mean we get a lot more injuries. I don't know whether it'll actually happen. I'm gonna sim through some seasons. I'll do actual sim games as well and see if you get more injuries in sims. We'll sim through a season, see if it affects any of the results, see if just generally there are a lot more injuries in the world of football. And then after that, at some point, we'll also play a game up against the computer where neither side has any stamina and we'll just see what sort of carnage unfolds in the football match. If you go on to enjoy the video though, slap a like on it and subscribe if you are new to the channel. It's the big red button under the video and it massively helps me out. As you can see, just scrolling through the whole team, everybody's got one stamina. And if we go across to the traits, you'll see absolutely everybody has the trait injury prone as well. So the first game of the season comes against West Ham. We're gonna sim it. We're gonna see whether anything actually occurs, whether there's any ridiculous amount of injuries. So far, it seems calm. Half an hour in, uh, Salah's given us the lead and West Ham have missed a penalty. Salah scores again with two goals to the good. Everything's looking good. To be fair, you might not see that many injuries until, obviously, you get stuff like the stamina going down to its lowest value. No injuries or anything. We take a 2-0 win there against West Ham. A solid amount of stamina on show for the boys here. The ratings have changed dramatically. Why on earth is Trent Alexander-Arnold just 73 overall now? What's happened to the geezer? Robertson 75, Fabinho 79, Vinaldum 78. What have we done to this team? What has occurred here? Andrew Robertson's down by seven, mate. Okay, I didn't realise putting stamina down to one would have this much of an effect. Robertson's gone down by seven. Milner's down by six. Alexander Arnold's down by six. Same for Henderson and Moreno. Oxley, Chamberlain, Vinaldum, Chirivella, and Fabinho are all down by five. We've got loads of players down by four. What in the world? We go again. We face Crystal Palace now. Could I just say, in all my time simming games on this game, I don't think I've ever seen anyone on the injuries and suspensions list. Is there even is is there even injuries and suspensions to the AI anymore? Because I don't think I've ever seen, now that I think about it, anyone appear in that box. I think Crystal Palace have rotated quite a lot going into this game as well. We'll skip this one. It's another win, and it's thanks to Salah again, but no injuries again. Game three, once again, there's nobody in the injury and suspension. Somebody tell me that. Has that ever appeared for anyone else? I think it's a myth now. I think it used to happen because I remember it in the old FIFA games, but I think they've got rid of it. Brighton are genuinely playing their second team. This is amazing. Everyone's playing their second string sides when we face them. We're going to slap Brighton silly even with a ridiculously tired Liverpool side. How have we got a red card before an injury in this experiment? I swear it used to be stupidly easy to get injuries in sim games and now I Everybody's injury prone. There's none to be seen anywhere. What's annoying me is there used to be an option for the squad. It was squad ranking and you could actually see the injury list of every other club a couple of FIFAs ago, but I'm pretty sure EA have removed that feature now, which makes obviously literally no sense at all. Why would you ever remove a feature from a game mode unless it's broken? I've never understood that. We've got a high profile casualty of this experiment already. Harry Kane's out for six weeks. He's torn his hamstring. Another sim match now in the cup. Still playing the same side, so everybody's dead on their feet, really. It's another victory, but how is there still no injuries? What in the world? Guys, I we've actually had an injury. It it's taken five games, but Gidi Vinaldum's been struck down. And he, I mean, he's out for four months, in fairness. That is, I can't say that's an ideal situation, really. My 
Mohammed Salah, I'm exhausted, boss. Uh, look, listen, Mohammed, I know. It's not my fault you've got one stamina, all right? That, having said that, it is actually, in theory, it is actually a thousand percent my fault he has one stamina. My whole squad's been taken to the cleaners with this stamina change. Look at some of the downgrades in ratings. Kijana Herver has been on the game about two weeks. He's gone down by three already. Welcome to the channel, mate. Yet another injuryless game in the Champions League this time. I'm honestly surprised at the lack of influence this is having so far because usually there's more injuries than you could shake a stick at in this game and in Sims especially. Having said that, Naby Keita's out for two months. One thing is baffling me here, I've got to say. So the last two games, I've played Oxlade Chamberlain and Jordan Henderson in this team. They've both still got one stamina. Okay, so why do they have a full stamina bar? If I sim this game against Cardiff, right, and I skip it, I go across to the team and they've still got full stamina. I wonder if it's different if I let the game play out. Is, will that be different? They've still got full stamina. How? Although Joe Gomez is now injured, so we're, we're getting, oh, that's a training injury for crying out loud. I'd just like to point out the injuries and suspensions tab, as I suspected, is complete and utter baloney. I just went through Arsenal's team and Squadron Mustafi is injured and out for three weeks. So clearly there should be his name in the injuries and suspensions, yet it isn't there. Also, that highlights that this experiment isn't having the effect I thought it was gonna on the AI. One injury when everyone is injury prone and has one stamina is, is pretty shocking. We've got three. We've got three semi-long-term injuries in our team. How have we been shafted so badly? Oxlade, Chamberlain, Henderson and Matip are still full stamina and I really don't understand why. Another game, another injury. That's four for us now, in fairness. This might actually be starting to have somewhat of an effect. And Jed Shakiri's out for four months. I don't think it really actually makes the injuries any more frequent. I think you just end up with worse ones than you did before. I think maybe, right, the team's starting to get gradually just ground into the dirt. Lalana's injured now as well. We've got five injuries at the same time. Lalana, in fairness, is only out for seven days. That That is not as bad, but it's just, where's his injury gone? Lalana got injured. It literally... Right, I'm sorry. This is unacceptable. It just said, it literally just said he was out for seven days. Do you think there's a maximum amount of injuries you can get in a squad at a certain time? Maybe there's a limit to the amount of injuries you can get in a squad and a limit to the amount of players that can get heavily fatigued. That would explain why Henderson, Milner, Oxley, Chamberlain, Matip, etc. have been playing for ages now, haven't gone down in stamina like Alexander Arnold and Van Dyke and the rest, because Matip still has one stamina, so does Henderson, so does Milner, and Oxley chamberlain does as well. And there's another one, Sadio Mane. That's about four in four games now. We've got an injury to Randall. How have, how have you even got injured? You don't even play, son. All right, the theory about there being a maximum amount of tired players is out of the window. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Look, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I feel like the lack of stamina in the heavy amount of injuries has had an influence here. Leicester City have won the league. <laughs> I mean, I know they've done it before, but it's just not likely on this game. We've got West Ham, Chelsea, Liverpool and Arsenal, Bournemouth and Brighton. And as you can see, down at the bottom, Palace, Southampton and Cardiff go down. The FA Cup was won by us, whilst the Carabao Cup was won by Huddersfield. All right, fair enough. The Champions League final hasn't happened yet, but it doesn't look all that surprising. And the Europa League isn't that indifferent either. Lazio beating Villarreal. Right, I've restarted the career mode save. It is now time to play a game. Our ridiculous tired Liverpool side is going up against the hopefully equally tired Leicester City side. Fully expecting one of the players to collapse before this game gets underway. Here we go. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare. Surely, I mean, it's going to be like running in quicksand for a start. You can see the stamina bars for the Leicester players as well. They're all struggling. Look how slow everyone is. Salah's put it in for Mane. It's just Hitch Michael in the face. Oh, the first big challenge has come in from Van Dyke. I'm surprised it hasn't broken anyone. Mane here down the line for Firmino. Firmino was jogging just then. Now it's into Salah. 
I really doubt Evans will keep up. He hasn't, but we've hit the post. What an hour in. Everyone seems to be holding up pretty well. Not a single injury so far in this game. Oh, there's a lot of space for Firmino. The defenders aren't catching him with that amount of stamina. And Salah taps it into an empty net. It's a cheesy goal from ourselves, it's got to be said. But Salah has scored... And the lack of stamina for the defenders is a serious issue. We've almost had an entire half of football here and there's not a single injury. No stamina, everybody's injury prone and not a single injury actually out on the pitch. That probably has to be the worst skill run you've ever seen in your life. Kaita, <laughs> absolutely no urgency from Kaita there at all. Oh, Firmino. Oh, Firmino, that's delicious. Firmino, mate, you need to calm yourself down. Oh, is that the first injury? No, he was just faking it. Goodness me, it's been 67 minutes, people. Oh, we've got an injury. Andrew Robertson <laughs> is putting a slight tackle instead of clearing the ball away, but it's taken 74 minutes. Robertson's not happy with himself. I don't know what he's done. I'm pretty sure it's not an impact injury. Leicester have hit the post. To be fair, one thing I will say is having no stamina at all makes games absolute carnage. Whatever Robertson's done, he's now shaking it off. So we're not even... I know it's sounds bad. I shouldn't be like hoping for injuries or whatever, but having injury prone players and having poor stamina doesn't really affect anything. The end of the game is approaching. We've got an injury there for Mane right at the death, but that is it. That is a game with one stamina and everybody being injury prone. Not a single injury for a Leicester player. We picked up two. Robertson pulled up at one point, but then shook it off. Mane pulled up right at the end there by putting across into the box. But there you have it. That is what happens when every single player on FIFA 19 is injury prone and also along with that has one stamina as well. If you've enjoyed this video though, slap a like on it and subscribe if you are new to the channel. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves and goodbye. <laughs>